Yo, you done now, you know. Big up. Dan Sinclair and the unruly coolie from Dan Youth. Yeah, like you own your man, say. Yeah, yeah, she can't take him from you, say. Yeah, yeah, and if you possess the glue, say. Yeah, yeah, Dan Sinclair wanna holler at you. Man, you say, say I can't, you know? Dan Youth. Back, back, back. So, Dan Youth. What age did you get into music? And who and what inspired you? Well, I got into music at about age 16 professionally and started my record label. And what inspired me was just by listening to a lot of pop music, a lot of reggae music, and especially the artists that had their own labels. You know what I mean? That inspired me to start Golden Child, my own name. Alright. What was the first single you bought? Well, the first single, you know, I can remember, was like a Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I might like Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. And I don't think I did get it in the single form, I just by the album itself that it opened out that Michael Jackson in the middle. So. That was my first album, Michael Jackson album. Nice. What was your favorite album by uh, 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 What was your favorite album by another artist? Well, of course, like I said, Michael Jackson was the, the whole Thriller album. That was my favorite album at the time. And you know, you had a lot of other artists that I really liked them albums that time. But, Michael Jackson, of course. What artists do you like and would like to work with and why? Well, I don't really have one artist I want to work with, you know, because I enjoy variety. So sometimes you have a famous artist that I'd like them style and I love work with them, probably like you know, like Diana Ross, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, somebody really legendary like that, you know what I mean, and you know, like I said, why, why I would have liked to work with everybody, you know, just who have that energy that touch my musical nerve, it's because, you know, new sound have to keep coming out there for music to, like, evolve, you know? Yes, Daniel. Um, since you're a busy man with your new clothing line, where was the last event you played at? Well, the last event I really played at was really like a old school session because a lot of those things really happening right now. You know, named Rubber Dub and it's really like a 90s dance which had like me, Inner City and Waggy T. Yeah. And you know that, you know, nice vibes, you know. Nice vibes. In Miami, Florida, you know. What has been the best moment you recall? Well, the best moment I recall was really, you know, when Wayne Wonder called me up in Miami, my first show up here, you know, in Biscayne, and it was a Pento showcase, Bujo Bantan, Marcia Griffiths, Barry Salmon, Wayne Wonder. And I was just a little juvenile and Wayne Wanda called me up and I said, come perform the song, Love in Excess with him. And then he met me perform a song hardcore and it was like a pandemonium. I didn't even know how big I was, you know what I'm saying? But then the response was like, yo, we have a thing going on, you know? Describe your music and how long have you been writing? Well, my music, I call it World Hop, which is like a blend of Jamaican oriented music, you know what I'm saying, which come through the forms of dancehall and reggae and Jamaican patwa, you know what I mean, and I put it on any other musical genre when I hear, I put that influence on any other musical genre here, so I've been doing like two-step, dub garage, I got through all kind of phases, trap, trunk, you know, I always was there like at an influential position in new songs like Little John who's a big producer when he had that trunk music, you know what I mean, Mr. Kalipa, 
with that crunk music, you know, Yin Yang Twin, Soldier Boy, Hurricane Chris, so I was always there with them. So I just call my music World Hop and it's just always fresh, nothing sound alike, and it's always just an evolution to what everybody doing with a little more, making it look more easy without trying too hard, you know. Um, name three artists you'd like to be compared to. Well, I don't want to compare to nobody, but people always compare me to like, you know, the Shabbas, the Bob Marley, when we do my reality side, the, you know, the hardest score dance all artist that you can name, you know, it just really depends on the mood of the rhythm and what I really doing at the time. If I doing, you know, records for sale globally, I might write different. You know what I'm saying? Than how I'd write for a dance hall, you know what I mean? And you know, like if I doing like a company come with them record or them artists and they have a certain track, I don't really reject it. I just really just make sure the music work, make sure it's flowing, make sure it bumps in and it have a fresh sound. Name your top three types of music. Well my top three what could be top three? I mean all this all this is like, you know, like R&B is like my thing. All this R&B, Delphonics, you know, Blue Magic, you know what I mean, Teddy Pendergrass, you know what I mean, that kind of person is, is what I really, you know, love in terms of one. Then dance all, I love it, you know what I mean? And I mean, dance music, I love dance music. So the dance, reggae, dance all, you know what I mean? I love everything, you know what I mean? So professionally, what's your goal? My goal is just, you know what I mean? Like I said, being through the career that I've been through, which is really helping younger artists on them journey to becoming superstars. You know what I mean? Just keep doing that, helping you know, a lot of people getting my career to where, you know what I'm saying, I can really help, like, the song to stay with a certain respect. So my goal is really just to really try and make sure, you know, reggae, dance all and good music, you know what I mean, stay, you know what I mean, that's my goal. So done you, what jobs? have you done other than being an artist? We know you have the clothing line, but we just want to know. Well, you know, I have my clothing line, you know, which run parallel with the music, you know what I mean? Which, you know, is the t-shirts, like the one I have on, Golden Child. And I have females, stuff, stuff for kids, bags, you name it. So basically, it's just really music. You know what I mean? Real estate um, and my, my clothes. Really, lifestyle is my business, you know what I mean? It's a lifestyle, you know? Yes, I know. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently? Well, if I could go back in time, I'd probably not, not, be, not be so easy to like help everybody first, but really like just concentrate on myself because that's how the world is and you know what I mean I'd really just you know put more emphasis on me because you know it's just natural in me to like help you know people trying to come up because I have a natural shine that from a come in the industry is like a shine so I always never feel like you know Without star power, everywhere I got the, the vibe that people give me. So I always used to just make people get some of that vibe. And you know, I probably wouldn't be that so easy again. I'd probably, you know, be skeptic about people that come and ask him for help. What are you listening to lately? Well, lately, lately I still listen to my oldies, Dennis Brown. You know, I listen to Dennis Brown, I play Dennis Brown. A thousand times, like one song. Since I've been loving you, you know, loving you, you know. So I've been listening to some Dennis Brown, you know, cause he's a great, 
You know what I mean? I listen to a lot of the new bounces, the beats and the flows. A lot of rappers, sometimes I don't even know who is who, because a lot of them sound alike. You know what I mean? Which sound good, you know what I mean? But I, I basically listen to all these you know, like legends. I really listen to the icons because after, you know, you're in the business, if you want to endure, you kind of have to know where it starts from, you know? Also, Daniel, what song of yours are you most proud of and why? Well, I don't really have one song I'm really proud of. Like I said, there's no really one thing, but you know, I'm more shocked. I, I can't really say I'm proud of a song like my old catalog because, like, Love in Excess with the A1, the hardcore girl I own the man. You know, I can't believe it. It really is what met me, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really proud of, but you know, I used to come to foreign and you know, people, you know, I said, I mean, I mean, Daniel, I'm trying to sell my records in a record shop. They said, Daniel, me have a record right here, so I used to be like, oh, so that's so thing, though. You don't know where you're blowing up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a vibe, like, you know, I'm just glad when a record finds its way somewhere in the industry or the DJs them kind of have a bit more open mind so it's not really proud it's really just I just love that I keep I, I keep you know evolving the sound and growing with the times you know what I'm saying so Daniel what would you be doing if you weren't a musician that's what everybody wants to hear well if I was not a musician I'd still be helping people some way whether it be being a lawyer you know what I mean whether it be doing something for the kids them, you know, with disabilities, you know what I'm saying, you know, helping poor people, you know, some family raised me for help people who are less fortunate in their mind, you know. Because it's not like we they have a billion, but you know, we did have it in a way rich, richer than money, you know, so I'd still be helping people. Mm -hmm. So other than the people you are with now, if you could get any musician, living or dead, who would be in your dream band? I mean, obviously, Earth, Wind and Fire, you know what I'm saying? People like Michael, you know, New Edition would have been on my band, you know what I'm saying? Mariah Carey, Billy Brown, a million people out there, you know what I'm saying? A zillion people who love music, you know? If you could dabble in another type of music, what would it be? Well, I stay in Dublin, you know what I'm saying? Any genre that come, because that's what world hop is, is really to get it to the world. So if it's even the African them, which I work with Akon, you know what I mean? But it's a different sound, you know what I mean, from Akon. It's like, I do some African music, some Haitian music, from their perspective, Calypso, from their perspective, you know? Do you get nervous before a performance or a competition? No, not, not nervous, but you know, focused. I get focused, not nervous, because you know, from a go there is an energy, you know, from a there the energy just start building, so you know, what I mean, you always have the vibes around you, you know, because I don't really deal with the negative vibes, I just kind of just go hold my vibes, I don't really get nervous, I get focused. How do you handle mistakes during a performance, Daniel? Well, basically, at my stage, if you have a mistake, you kind of just know how to curve it. So nobody not going to really know it's a mistake. Because, I mean, you're probably singing your song and one word, you change it a little bit. The people, them already in their mind know what the song is. So it's just don't fumble. Don't fumble. You know? So, what advice would you have to give beginners who are nervous? Well, I don't really think that they, they, they must go on the stage thinking about really nerves, you know? Just go out there, perform your song to the best of your ability and just, just focus. But it's not really about nerves. Them, them are young youth that are really in on a nerves thing. You know what I mean? Especially dance all artists. Them more all war, the legend, them, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep down a man for them bus. So no nerves, no the less. So, so not my culture. Probably in another genre. 
You know what I mean? And I know the rap general, they don't really play with people's stuff. I don't really have to advise the little youth, them, because they kind of have them own way of doing things. You know? Mm-hmm. So, if you had the power to make changes in the music industry, what would, the, what would they be? Well, basically, just kind of making people know, say, the politics, you know, in the music. I have to stop because sometimes, okay, you don't like one person, and but it's that person is the Usain Bolt for winning the race, for run, for make the country get certain level. Or Pele, back in the day, or whoever, Messi, but you got to politic him out for your brethren, or because you don't like a man. I mean, okay, if, you, if your child dying, and if somebody you don't like have the cure, what you going to do? And that's really what music does, and I'm going to change the politics and just you know, kind of get certain things out of certain people mindset and make them know, say, yo, focus on the music, you know what I mean? Because even if it's money you want, you can make a short term money and then it's done. So just really, I'll just change it and make sure, say, people stay on a certain quality, you know what I mean? Because a quality of a David and it don't take a billion dollars, you know what I mean? Last and final question. And we know you're a very important and a very busy man on you. What else can we expect from you in the future? Well, right now I have the Pandemonium album, you know, out it's on goldenchildstore.com, you know what I'm saying? And then you can go on my Facebook for updates, you know what I mean, on what I do in my Instagram for updates. And what I do is Don U D O N Y U G E, that's my Instagram, that's my Facebook. The YouTube, everything is done you. So I have a lot of stuff coming up that are not really going to just disclose so, you know what I mean? But the pandemonium EP and the new song, that's really what you must look out for. The clothes, always check up on Dan you can you see golden child you know, everywhere, you know, it's already out there. So we're just pushing it more and more. Movies, them done know already. Production, them done know already. Quality production, videos, everything. So we're just keeping Golden Child Music Group going, you know. It's an enterprise, so we keep it going and that's really just growing. Getting to the world and that's all for the future. Well done you, thank you so much for your time. And we look, hope you're the best and we look forward to seeing, doing another interview another time. Thank you very much.